In this example, we're going to be using Visi Electrode inside of Visi to create an electrode and use in a holder uh, to burn out parts of this tool. There's a few parts in this tool that we can burn with the electrode uh, module. We're just going to focus on this uh, right here. Uh, this boss right here will be created with a core pin, so what we're actually going to do is go and delete and heal this out there. So now we have just a little cavity in there. So now we can go ahead and use the electrode drop down and select electrode. And the first thing you want to do is select all the faces that are going to be burned out. So we're going to go and select all of these individual faces here and then confirm that. And then the next thing we have to do is select the direction. Uh, the direction is down here in the data marker, you can see it's pointing the positive Z, and that's what we want. So we'll just confirm that again. And next, you select the bodies to check for collisions throughout the process. So we're just going to select the whole piece, and we'll be checking our electrode creation against collisions with the rest of the piece. So we'll then confirm that, and we've got the start of the electrode right here. So now we get the electrode menu pop up, and we have some options we can put in when we're uh, building it. For this one, I'm going to put the extension of 5 in to pull that up a little bit, <clears throat> change it, the shape from vertical to linear, um, and then I'm going to extrude it a little more, also to 5, out the sides, and then we'll just slide that up there. And at each step along the way, you have this button right here in the middle, the check collision. So while you're creating it, you can check it against collisions in the body that you specified. And you'll get this message that says no collisions were detected as long as you're good. So once you input your options here, hit apply, you get the electrode there. And the next thing we're going to do is back in the electrode menu, select the stock, and it prompts you to select the electrode. So just select this newly created electrode. Again, check the bodies to uh, check against the collision. Select the bodies. And now I've got the stock here that we'll be building off the electrode. So just like before, you can check the collisions once you put all of your uh, values in. We're just going to increase the width to 100 millimeters, the depth to 20 and a half, and the height to 12.5. And then just like before, we'll pull this out a little bit and then click the check for collisions. So we're still good. And then we'll confirm that build as well. Okay, next we're going to go into the electrode manager where we can keep track of multiple electrodes in the project. We'll just create one here, but you'll want to do new project, new work piece. You get to each of these menus by right clicking on the next one down. Pick the body as the workpiece. Create a new group. And then create a new electrode and just select the electrode that you designed. And once you're at this part, the only thing left to do is go to the holder from library and you can use a holder from the library that will appear at the bottom here. We're just going to use this ER010793 model. And you can see you can place it by point, but it's upside down right now. So I'm just going to use the rotate around an axis, rotate this around, and then put it right at the center. And you see we've got the holder on here. Now if I go back into the electrode manager, right click on the bottom tier here and click simulation. It'll run the simulation for the electrode, and we'll tell you that no collisions were detected. And that's how you design and uh, add a holder to an electrode using Visi Electrode.